Good afternoon, everybody. Brooke here for your 30-minute advanced Pilates routine. Equipment we're gonna to use today, we're gonna to use a soft Pilates ball or grab a cushion, a set of light weights, and a long resistance band. So go ahead and grab those things. Hopefully you have them close to hand. And we're gonna go ahead and get started. So we'll start standing at the end of your mat, feet parallel and hip width apart, drawing the abdominals in, reaching through the crown of the head, just making sure your posture is nice and perfect with the core engaged. Now take a deep breath as you lift your arms overhead. And then as you breathe out, lift your heels up, draw the abdominals in and try to grow a little taller, just holding your balance there. Now reach your arms out to the side as you lower your heels down to the mat, drop your chin to your chest, round your spine and start rolling down over your legs, just hanging there for a moment and the shake everything on the head, shake the head side to side, and then circle your shoulders back, and circle them forward. Good, bend your knees, get your hands flat on the mat, and then try to straighten the legs back out, breathing out as you extend the legs. One more time, bend the knees, hands flat on the mat, trying to keep the hands down as you straighten your legs back out. This time as you bend the knees, I want you to walk, start walking your hands forward, coming out into a plank. Lift the head, slide the shoulders down the back, engage the glutes, and lift your right leg high up to the ceiling. Breathe out as you drop the right knee to the left elbow. Inhale, lift that leg high. Exhale, knee to elbow. Keep your left leg strong, left leg straight, your supporting leg. And with this last one, we're going to lift the leg and then drop the knee under the body and hold it against the elbow for three two, one. Come back into your plank. Lift your left leg high. Point the toe up to the ceiling. Breathe out. Drop the knee under the body. Off the elbow. Three more. Lift and lower. Last two. Up and down. And then with the last one, again, as the knee drops under the body, we try to connect to the elbow and hold for three, two, and one. Now come back to your plank. And we lift your hips. I take your right hand and touch your left foot. Breathe in, come back into your plank. Breathe out, left hand to right foot, reaching under the body, hips up in almost like a down dog position. Alternate sides, reach the hand to the opposite foot. Inhale back to the plank. Exhale, hand to foot. Inhale back. Now, if you don't get all the way to the foot, don't worry, just as long as you're reaching there, trying to press your heels down into the mat, coming back into that high plank each time before you alternate to the other side. Let's go one more time each way, breathing out and in. Last one, breathe out, reach the hand to opposite foot and then back to your plank. Now lift the hips up, press into your heels, hold your downward dog, stretch for a deep breath in. Start walking your hands back to your feet, soften the knees, chin to chest, round the spine and roll all the way back up to standing. Shoulders and head come up last. Now lay your fingers together behind the back with the arms with the chest really opening up the front of the body with a big breath in. And then as you breathe out, keep your legs straight, keep your back straight, let the arms drop away from you as you hinge yourself down over your legs. Now let the arms drop down to the mat and just do a little sway side to side, swing the arms, swing the torso. Then come back to the center, bend the knees, get the hands down to the mat, breathe out as you walk forward. Holding your high plank, slide the shoulders down right here, squeeze the glutes, tilt the pelvis slightly, scooping the belly button in, and then bend your elbows. Pull your elbows in tight to the sides of the ribcage. Exhale, press them out away. Inhale, lower, pull the elbows in tight, shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, lift. Let's aim for three more. Down and up, shoulders stay down away from the ears. Last two, head, shoulders and hips coming down in one line. One last time, down, up and hold. Now turn the knee out to the side to that shoulder. Back to your plank, right knee, alternate sides. Open up the hip. Four, three, two, last one. Come back to your plank, lower your knees down and sit back onto your heels. Stretch your arms, stretch your back, rest your head. Good, so change positions now. Coming onto your back. And we're gonna start with our hundred. So coming down, head and shoulders on the mat, neutral spines, a little bit of an inward curve in your lower back, but button the ribs towards the hips, lift the head, lift the shoulders, stretch your legs, rotate the toes outward so you have a little beat between heels, soften the knees, and then really straighten the legs up. Lift your pelvic floor, strong pelvic floor squeeze. Breathing in as you start pumping the hands, breathe out. 
Breathing it in for four beats. Breathe out for four. Breathe in. Two, three, four, and out. Really strong legs. Last one before we add a little variation. Now, next one, I want you to lower your right leg down as you inhale. As you exhale, zip back up to that left leg. Lower the left leg down. Exhale, lift. Breathe in. Two, three, four, and out. Alternating those leg movements. Breathe in as the left leg comes down. Breathe out as you lift. Two more. Breathing in. Breathe out. Last one. Breathe out. Now we're going to try to lower both legs. Breathe out. Just one more time. Breathing in. Two, three, four, and out. Good, shoulders back, knees in, take a deep breath, and then reach your arms behind you, stretch your legs out in front. So nice long spine, breathing out, lift the hands, lift the head, peel your spine up, try to keep the feet stuck to the floor, and then find your weights wherever they are. Weights in your hands. Now reach the arms forward, breathing out. Breathe in, lengthen through the top of the head, shoulders down away from the ears. Breathe out, tilt the pelvis, gather the abdominals, point your toes, and slowly come back down to the mat. Inhale, reach the arms behind you, let the weights tap the floor, and then exhale, lift the hands, lift the head, and slowly come up, keeping the feet down. Stretch forward. Inhale again, lengthen and straighten the back, shoulders down away from the ears. Exhale, tilt, scoop around the spine as you roll down. Inhale, reach the arms behind, and exhale, curl up again. Just slowly peeling up, keeping the feet down. Reach forward, then breathe in, straighten up the back, and we're going to breathe out, come halfway back, and hold. Now, if you want to advance it, go a little bit lower, and then start circling these arms as if you're treading water. Take your elbows out to the side. Stay there for four. Point the toes, really squeeze the legs together, draw the belly button in. Now, reverse your circles. Let's go forward the other way. Three two, and one. Now two times, arms up over your head, just behind the ears. Inhale, lower them back down. Exhale, the arms up overhead. Inhale, lower back down, and then go down an inch, down an inch, and then roll all the way down to the mat. Deep breath in, arms overhead. Feet stay stuck to the mat as you again curl up without using any momentum. Reach forward. Breathe in, straighten up the back, shoulders down. Breathe out, rounded spine, come halfway back. Now we're going to open the left arm out. Really lengthen through the fingertips as you open those arms. Inhale back to the center. Open the right arm out. Breathing in as you lengthen. Exhale, come back to the center. Two more. And center. And twist. And center. Now again, arms go up over your head. Point the toes, squeeze the legs together. Inhale, lower back down. So you can lower the chest a little lower. Still keeping the feet stuck to the mat as the arms go up overhead. Inhale down one more time now. Breathe out, lift the arms up. Breathe in, lower them back down, and then roll your spine all the way down. Good. Let's leave the weights behind. Draw your knees into your chest. Add a little bit of movement side to side. Good. Hands come behind the head, elbows wide, peel the head and shoulders up. And we're going to twist right elbow to your left knee. Now lower those legs down. Exhale, lift them back up one more time. Legs go down. And then back up, and we change sides. Left elbow to right knee. Lower the legs down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Again, switch. Elbow to knee, and then hinge the legs down, keeping the shape of the legs as you lower. And lift two times, keeping that right shoulder high up off the mat. Switch again. And then lower. And lift. Last one. And now we're going to flow. Go a little bit quicker, just to change from one side to the other. Eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to hold the next one. Little taps, elbow to knee for four, three, two, and one. Inhale, change, exhale, hold, four, three, two, and one. One more time, each side, four taps, four, three, two, one. Last one, change and hold for four, three, two, one. Drop the shoulders, pull the knees in, take a deep breath. And then again, reach your arms behind you, extend your legs out in front of you, sweep your arms around the side as you draw your knees up into the chest, coming up into a bounce. Try to roll your shoulders back, lift your chin, lift your chest, extend your arms and legs, inhale to hold, and then exhale, slowly lower back down to the mat, take another big breath in, and then exhale, lift up again. 
Imagine hooks in the chest, lifting the chest, lengthening through the fingers, lengthening through the toes. Now let's try to leave the legs there as we lower the upper body down to the mat. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Lift back up, shoulders back, chin up. Inhale to hold. Exhale, legs stay where they are. Upper body lowers down to the mat. Inhale, exhale to curl back up. Let's go two more times. Inhale, hold. Exhale, move. Inhale, hold. Exhale, lift. Shoulders back, chest up. Inhale to uh, hold, exhale to move. Last one, inhale to hold. Exhale, lift yourself back up. And then lower the legs down. Fold forward over your legs. Grab the feet, the ankles, wherever you can reach. And really draw that chest down towards your knees. Good. Okay, so now we're gonna flip over onto your front. Now feel free to grab a quick sip of water as we change positions. We're gonna need the ball for this next exercise. And we're going to place the ball under your left knee and extend your right leg. So your right leg is going to be your moving leg and the left leg is kind of just sitting, resting on that ball. You have the toes tucked under so we don't have too much movement through that left knee. Shoulders away from the ears, breathe that lift the right leg up and head lower back down. So the key here is to keep the spine and your pelvis still and stable, your shoulders no, don't move. Now bend in the elbow as that leg starts to move. Do not collapse to your lower back at all. So you're pressing the mat away, slightly pulling your hands apart as if you're ripping your mat in two to really engage the muscles of your upper back. So a lot of muscles that aren't moving are working quite hard. Your quad muscle on your standing leg, that left leg, the front of that leg is going to start to burn as we move along. Last one, I want you to point the toe and then circle the leg out to the side, back to the midline. Slow circles. Again, stabilize every other part of your body. Just that leg moving in isolation. Sweeping the end of the mat, circling slowly around. Two more. Sweep out, up and around, and to the middle of the mat. Last one, up and around, and hold. Now reach the toe out to the corner of your mat and rotate the leg outward. When you press the mat away, make sure the spine's not sinking between the shoulder blades and lift your right leg up. Hold it nice and high. Breathe in slowly, lengthening the, through the toe as the toe comes back to the corner of the mat. Exhale, lift up and hold high. Inhale, slowly back down. Let's aim for four more. Long, big movements. Lift, squeeze, and lower. Three, lift, lift, squeeze, hold, and down. Last two, breathing out, hold, and slowly resist as you lower. Last one, lift up and hold. Now bend your knee, kind of wrap the toe around. Turn the knee out, turn the toe in, press the mat away. Circle your knee, four big circles, up and around. Three, again, keeping that left leg still on the ball. Last two, and one. Reverse your circles, let's go four, three, two, and when I pull the knee in line with the hip and point the toe up to the ceiling, draw your belly button up and away and pulse the toe to the ceiling like you're trying to poke holes in the ceiling. So either eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last movement. We start moving the spine now, knee to your forehead, chin to chest. Inhale, lift the head, lift the toe. Exhale, round the spine, breathing out. Inhale, arch the back. Last one, breathing out as you tuck. Breathing in as you lift. And then lower that right knee down to the mat. Take the left knee off of your ball and go straight into the other side. So kind of pushing through without stretching. Tuck your toes under on your right foot. Stretch your left leg out. Zip the core up and away. Slide the shoulders down. Lift the leg and lower. Up and down. Staying here for eight. Again, going through your checkpoints. Ears in line with the shoulders. Pressing the mat away. Make sure the spine isn't dropping down between your shoulder blades. Slightly pulling your hands apart, drawing your belly button in, standing hip over the knee. Last two and one. Now point the toe, stretch your straight leg long, sweep it out to the side, circle it around. No movement anywhere else in the body. Slow, controlled circles. Use the breath, four more. And three. Last two. And one. The foot comes back to the middle of the mat. Just again, zip the core, lift your lower back. Slide that toe over to the corner of the mat. Rotate the leg out and lift the leg up high and hold it at the top. Breathe in, slowly lengthening as you lower the foot back down. Exhale, lift up and hold. 
Inhale, lower, trying to get that foot just above hip height. Lift, lift, squeeze, hold. Inhale, down. And lift and hold. Inhale, down. Let's aim for three more. Lift, but higher than the hip. Last two, lift and lower. One more, hold that leg high, then bend the knee, pull your toe in, turn the knee out, circle the knee, up and around for four, three, two, and one, reverse, four, three, two, and one. Now point the toe to the ceiling, draw the knee back in line with the hip, and pulse up from there. Big lifts, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now breathe out, drop your chin round the spine into the head, stretch, breathe in, lift the toe, lift the head, breathe out, chin to chest, knee to forehead, inhale, toe up to the ceiling, arch the back, last one, breathing out, and in, and then lower the knee down to the mat, let's take the ball away, Toes touching, knees apart, then sit back onto your heels. Just slot your rib cage down between your knees. Really stretch through those fingertips. And then drag your hands back. Place the hands behind you, directly beneath your shoulders. Lift the hips up. Enjoy that big stretch, pressing into the tops of your feet. And then drop the hips down to your heels. Bend your elbows, going a little lower, closer to the floor. And maybe take the knees a touch wider. And then one more time, lifting everything up. Lower back down. Good. Knees together. Hands behind the back. And then out in front. Good. Circle the wrists. Roll your shoulders out. And then change your position. So your back on your elbows. So elbows are going to come directly beneath your shoulders. Knees tuck in towards your chest. We're going to breathe out. Extend the legs. Take rib to hip connection. Belly button pulled in tight. Inhale, bend the knees. Exhale, extend, breathe in and out. Last one, extend and hold. Now we're gonna circle both legs, big circle around to the right, all the way around to the left and hold at the top. Reverse your circle, breathing out as you move, breathe in as you circle to the top. Again, to the right, circling all the way around. Breathe and hold, stretch the legs a little longer, circle to the left, a big exhale. Inhale back to the center. Let's go one more time each way. Big movements. Inhale to hold. And last one. Circle around and hold. Now pull your knees into the chest. Find your soft ball again and try to place the ball just between your shoulder blades. And so you can take your hands away. So you're just resting on that ball. Feel free to adjust it if it feels like you're leaning to one side, as I just was. Hands come behind the head. Scoop the core. Stretch the legs out. Inhale, lower the legs down to the mat. Exhale, lift the legs up. Arm up, legs zip together tight. Inhale, bend the knees into the chest. Exhale, stretch your legs, drawing the belly button down. Inhale, lower the legs to the mat. Exhale, lift them back up. Inhale, knees to chest. Two more. Legs long. Inhale, let's go all the way down to the mat. Try to keep that upper back pressing into the ball. Exhale, lift the legs back up. Inhale, knees to chest. Last one. Breathe out, lengthen, squeeze, scoop. Inhale, lower, control the abdominals as you lower the legs. Exhale, deepen that connection between the abdominals and your spine as you lift up and then pull the knees into your chest. Now we're gonna extend the legs out, turn your toes out and take the legs out and in for eight, seven, six, five. Point the toes, lengthen the legs, squeeze the inner thighs, scoop the belly button, last two, and hold. Now so you can circle the legs around, lift the back up, open legs in opposite directions, heels come back together towards the mat and then lift the legs up together. Last two big circles. Now feel free to take your hands out to your sides if you need a little more stability. Last one, lift and then just roll up off the ball. Breathe in, sit as tall as you can and breathe out. Just relax. Now take the ball away and find your weights again. Have your feet stuck to the mat, tilt the pelvis, gather the, the abdominals in, come into your C curve in your spine. So think rib to hip connection, belly button pulled in tight, shoulders away from the ears, and then fingertips touching in front of you with the weights in your hands, elbows out wide. And we're gonna breathe out, come down an inch, inhale it back up. Feet and knees in line with your hips, so you've got a little space between the knees. 
Breathe out as you lower, breathe in as you lift. Stay here for four and three. Last two. Hold the last one now. Breathe out, lift the arms overhead. Inhale, lower them back down. All right, so up. Make sure you're leaning back enough that you really feel the abdominals working. Two more times, lift, uh, lower. Last one, lift and hold the arms over your head. Turn the shoulders to the left, open the arms up. Breathe in, fingertips touch over your head. Turn the shoulders to the right as the arms drop down towards the floor. Breathe out, lift the arms overhead. Again, turn the shoulders, no movement through the lower body. Lift back up, twist, open out. Inhale, lift back up. One more time each way, inhale down. Exhale, fingertips touch over your head. Turn to the right, inhale, lower the arms. Exhale, lift back up, center the chest, and then take the hands to the knees and stretch everything out. Just a quick recovery. Inhale, and then as you breathe out, again, tilt, scoop the, pel uh, scoop the abdominals around your spine, tilting the pelvis, return to your left, elbows wide, fingertips together, weights in your hands, come down an inch, up an inch, tuck, and lift for four, three, two, and hold, twist to the right. We'll just do six here, six. Shoulders reaching to that right corner of the room, shoulders facing them, weights, four, three, two, and one. Hands are back to the center. Now you're gonna lift your feet up off the mat, hold the weights together, and then tap the weights to the right. And left, just a classic twist, right, just tap the weights down either side of your hips, stay there, eight. Knees into the chest, feet lifted, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Now, soles of your feet together, knees out to the side, just fold yourself over your legs. Use your elbows to help ease the knees down towards the mat. Good. Okay, take the knees back together, pop your weights to the side, and grab your long resistance band. Do a little bit of upper body. We've done some legs. We've done quite a bit of core. And now we're going to focus on our arms. So sitting on the middle of your band, think string out the top of the head, lengthening. Wrap the corset muscle tight around your middle. Lift your pelvic floor. Feel those lower abdominals to start to zip in. And then pick your band up and hold your band just about shoulder height, shoulders down away from the ears. Add your circles. One, two. Three, try to stabilize the torso as the arms move. Keep lengthening through the top of the head. I'm going to stay here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and freeze. Now reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more. Standing down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold. Now lift the arms up. Breathe in, lower the back down. Exhale up, inhale lower. Six more times. And five, four, three, two. Think rib to hip connections, zip the core tight, hold the last one. Now slowly lower those arms down in front of you. Take a deep breath in, just kind of shake out any tension and lift the arms straight back up, up overhead. Inhale lower. Exhale, lift. Now shorten the band if you feel like there's not enough tension in it. Exhale with each lift. Make sure you keep your rib to hip connection. Keep the belly button pulled in. Keep that little inward curve in your lower back if you can. Just kind of, kind of tilt the one onto the back wall. Four more. And three. Last two. Hold the left one out. Now bend your elbows, elbows into a W shape. Exhale, stretch the arms up to the ceiling. Inhale down. Exhale up. Stay here for six. Five. Strong exhale. Four. Shoulders away from the ears. Belly button in. Last two. And lift. One more. Up and hold. Stay there for four. Three, two, one. And then slowly open the arms out to the sides. And just roll your shoulders back. Roll them forward. Good, take your band away. And turn yourself on your mat. Have your hands directly beneath your shoulders. Fingertips pointing in towards your hips. We're going to bend your elbows, pull them in towards each other, and then extend the arms. Lift and squeeze your tricep muscles. Lift, squeeze the backs of the arms. Stay there for three, two, 
Last one, hold, now lift your hips up, scoop the core in tight, keep bending and extend for six, five, four, three, two, hold it up. Now lift your right leg up, try to point the toe up to the ceiling, bend and extend for four, three, two, hold the last one, try to lift the hips a little higher, lower the leg down, Lift it up, bend the elbows, and extend. Leg goes down and up, elbows down and up. Two more. Leg and lift, bend, extend. Last one, leg down and lift, elbows down and up. Drop the right foot, lift the hips a little higher, zip the core a little tighter, send your left toe up to the ceiling, and hold it up as you bend and extend for five, four, three, Two, again, we hold the last one, get the hips a little higher, lower the leg down, lift it up, drop the elbows down and up. Four more, low and lift, elbows and stretch. Last three, down and lift, last two, chin up, keep smiling. Last one, down and up, elbows bend, extend, drop the foot, lift the hips high and then breathe out, swing your hips through the hands, and then lift the arms up to the ceiling. Pull the elbow in, lift your chin up. Big inhale and exhale. Let it go. Change sides, left elbow pulls in, chin up. Big inhale and exhale. Let it go. Good. All right, now flip over onto your front. And again, I want you to grab your long band, fold it in two, and just hold it wide, just with your hands a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. Now your hands should be right at the corners of your mat, coming all the way down onto your front. Point your toes out to the corners of the mat and roll your heels in slightly. Now extend the arms, zip the belly button up away from the mat, stretch your band and then breathe out. Lift the chest, lift the band, inhale, lower back down. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Ears and shoulders traveling at the same speed. Three more, lift. And lower, last two, and down, hold the last one up, stay there for four, three, two, one, lower the chest all the way down, let's drop the band. Now lift the arms, lift the legs, point the toes, squeeze your glutes, and add a quick flutter, stay there, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, lower the chest, stack your hands one on top of the other, Walk your heels in together so your heels are touching inner thighs, squeezing tightly. If you're trying to hold a piece of paper between your inner thighs, drop your head down to the backs of your hands and then lift your chest with the hands stuck to your forehead. Lift the heels, lower everything down. Chest up, legs up, squeeze the inner thighs tight. Inhale down. Four more. Lift and lower. Three. Last two. Hold the last one up, scoop the belly button in tight, lift the chest, lift the legs a little higher, hang there for four, three, two, one, and let the chest, let the legs come down. Take your hands back along your sides, lift the chest, turn the pinkies up to the ceiling, pinch the shoulder blades together, inhale, lower back down. Exhale, rotate the arms, reach to the crown of the head, inhale down. Next two, we lift the legs up as well, hold and release. Last one, chest up, finger, uh, pinkies up to the ceiling, shoulder blades together, lift the legs up, squeeze the glutes, hold there for four, three, two, and one. Then let everything come down to the mat, hands under your shoulders, sit back onto your heels, toes together, knees apart. Good. Just come up to all fours, hands beneath the shoulders, knees beneath the hips, take your right arm, thread it through the body, slide it across the mat, left arm up to the ceiling, stretch the fingertips on both hands, take a deep breath in, open it, ribs out like an umbrella, and then as you breathe out, lower the top hand back to the mat, take the lower hand back through the body, up to the ceiling, and down, then the left arm threads through the body, slides across the mat, head and shoulders are down, hips above the knees, deep breath in, expanding the sides of the cage, and then as you, oh, sorry, top hand comes up, and then as you breathe out, you lower your top hand, take the bottom hand back through the body, fingertips up to the ceiling. Good. Just step your left foot forward, take your left hand to the out, inside of that knee, just gently ease the knee out to the side, 
take the hands onto the mat, just a little bit of swaying left and right. So open up that hip and pull the hip, hips back, toe pointing up to the ceiling just to get a hamstring stretch through the back of the leg. And then let's change legs, right foot comes to the middle of your mat. Drop the hips forward, take your right hand to the inside of that right knee, just kind of rolling the knee out to the side, and then both hands down to the mat. A little bit of movement with that right knee just outside of your right elbow, coming down to the outer edge of your right foot. And then straighten the leg, toes up to the ceiling, nice hamstring stretch. So now just somebody's pulling your hips back to the wall behind you. And then just drag that right foot in. Hands under the shoulders. We're going to tuck your toes under, hover your knees up off the mat, scoop the belly button in, big pelvic floor lift. It's really carving out the abdominals. And then lift the knees all the way up. Press into your heels. Really arch the back. Tailbone up to the ceiling. Pedal through the heels. We lift uh, the left heels. We press into the right. And then switch. And switch. And then switch. And then drop both heels down. And walk your hands back to your feet. Let the head hang there, nod the head, shake it side to side, hold the backs of the ankles, really draw your chest down towards the knees, and then soften the knees, let the hands hang, scoop the belly button in, and roll yourself slowly back up to standing. Shoulders on top of ribs, head on top of shoulders, float the arms up, inhale, draw your heels together, squeeze the glutes, unify, exhale, float onto your toes, shoulders down, away from the ears. And then reach your arms out to the side and lace the fingers behind the back. And shake your arms out. And you're all set. Hope you enjoyed that advanced workout. We're back with another advanced session on Wednesday. We're here um, every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday at 9 a.m. Check the schedule on Instagram and social media and let us know if you have any feedback. See you soon.